Hello folks and welcome back to Dubious Engineering. Today we're going to find out how easy it is to replace a battery in a PS4 handset. We're going to replace the joysticks in this handset. So my kind friend Mark gave me this PS4 handset for my PS4 that I bought second hand off me mate Lee. The great news is, is it's a free second PS4 handset and actually it works wonderfully for playing golf and various other games like you do. Trouble is, is the battery doesn't last very long in it at all. So on Amazon, I bought one of these. This is a Super Smash Media replacement battery. It costs all of about $8.99 on Amazon with next day delivery. 3.6 volts, 1000 milliamp hours. So it should certainly last longer than the couple of hours that that handset lasts. Let's have a look at the battery itself. It's likely just going to be a little lithium ion. There it is, all wrapped in a nice little bag. It's a tiny little lithium ion 3.6 volt cell already terminated with a tiny little connector on the end of it. So next part of the mission, get into the handset. So the handset on the bottom of it has one, two, three, four screws. Let's get these screws undone. Make sure you select the appropriate size screwdriver bit so that you can get a good purchase on the screw heads. They're quite small and quite fine screw heads. Immediately I found with this screwdriver the tip was just a little bit too pointy and it started to round off those screw heads in the handset. This however is the right size and that gets a and that's a lovely fit into these screws and boom we can tell immediately that that is working an absolute treat. So let's get all of these screws out of the handset, pop the handset apart and see what's inside. And with a little bit of luck, that will be the last screw. Okay, let's see if this comes apart easily. Okay, so what I found is just a little bit of sideways motion as you're working it in an upwards direction. Pops those little clips. Come on, this one's particularly difficult. Oh. <laughs> yep. <laughs> and then it all just comes apart just like that okay this is the old battery right here let's pop that out there we go old battery removed and new battery going in its place it is quite literally as simple as that just make sure we get this connector in the right way around there we go bonk shove that in there and there we have it ladies and gentlemen a new battery in an old controller. So these sticks suffer from drift. And so the plan is to replace these sticks with these brand new sticks that I've gone ahead and purchased from eBay. And it looks like there's about nine or so connections on here to solder up. So that'll be fun, let's get into it. Okay, and again, let's take this controller apart. In fact, let's just remove the battery from this controller. Ah, there we go. And then we won't accidentally switch on the PlayStation downstairs. First of all, let's go ahead and remove this ribbon cable. That was dead easy. You literally just pull it carefully, directly upwards, away. All right, next part. Looks like there's a screw here that we need to undo. So let's get in there. And that screw is out. And coming with that screw is the battery tray. And then what you can do is you can start to pull this plastic out here and the whole assembly comes out in one piece. That's quite nice. Then we can remove the little rubber grippy stickies. They just pull straight off. This is looking nice and easy. Let's double check, famous last words. Let's double check what we've got here. That all looks good. That doesn't look like it's gonna to be too much of a hardship. Just a bunch of desoldering work to do here on the bottom of the PCB. And once those are desoldered, they should just pop straight off the board. In order to do this, you need a solder sucking tool. Now, I have one of these in green, which literally just sucks a solder like that. Taz Fay Dodge, up in Clackmanshire in Scotland, very kindly 
sent me this solder sucking tool. It's a soldering iron with a hole in the tip and a hand activated pump. There we go. On the back end of it. How cool is that? Thank you so much, Taz. Let's get into this PlayStation controller here and let's see if we can unsolder some of these points with Taz's solder sucker. Hold you up there. There we go. It's a fresh iron and it needs burning in. You can see the smoke coming off of the iron there. So just going to wait for that to warm up for a few seconds and then we'll give it a try and see how it does. Oh, that looks promising. <laughs> I hadn't pressed, I hadn't pressed the pump down. That's uh, what's that? Dog hair or something? Right, let's get back on there. Oh, Taz, that looks fantastic. There we go. Just wait for the solder to melt. Oh, nearly with that one. Let's have another go at that one. This is looking very promising, Taz. This solder sucker absolutely fantastic i'm flying through this this used to be an absolute nightmare with my old solder sucker and a separate iron this is brilliant because you can just get on, to, on top of the terminal that you want to solder suck and boom you, yep just like the car horn says boom you hit it in one shot that is magnificent this is looking really promising right I'll crack on with these and we'll get uh, we'll get some new ones in so once you've got all of those pins desoldered you'll feel that there's a little bit of compliance you'll get a little bit of wiggle going on and what you can do is just very carefully oh there we go pull that off the PCB Clearly, we want to put that one to one side. That's a used one, and we want to replace it with a brand spanking new one like this guy right here. That's interesting. Ah, I see. <laughs> so the button is. Ah, the button has broken. Ah, okay. I needed to desolder the button at the same time. The button is part of the deal. The button is built into it. That is the press down button when you press down on the stick. That is the press down button. When you press down on the stick, you can hear that there. That button is part of the deal. We need to unsolder and remove that button. Oh, silly me. And there it is. The button is out. Absolutely magnificent. Thank you for that tool, Taz. That is absolutely brilliant. Right, and then this joystick just slots straight in there and we can go ahead and solder that up. If you are finding it particularly hard to desolder these because you've got to be able to get all of the solder from around each pin, what you can do is you can desolder a couple of pins or you can cut some of these pins and then you can start to sort of manually disassemble it by brute force while it's still in place on the PCB and as you can see here this one came apart in multiple multiple pieces that one's done let's get this one in its place and I've brought out my TS100 soldering iron here just to make sure that I do a decent job of these solder joints all right people Now clearly when you're reassembling this, do not forget about these little ribbon cables that you need to put back in place. And with a bit of luck, that should feed up <laughs> through there. So we'll just use a little screwdriver to make sure that that ribbon cable pops up. There we go, through the appropriate hole as we fit all of this assembly back in place. And then what we can do, is we can take a pair of tweezers and use those to help us guide that ribbon cable back in place. There we go. Battery tray on next. Boom, battery tray in. A Little bit of 
random solder on the battery tray there. Whoops! Drop that in the handset. Ah! <laughs> I always forget things like that. Time to disassemble and reassemble, but this time include the little control pads. <laughs> back with the Renegade, back with the Renegade. There we go, ribbon cable back in, and this time we've remembered the control pads. Happy days. Let's get the battery tray in. Boom, battery tray's in place. Let's get the battery in. Battery's in. And then let's get the ribbon cable in place and get this reassembled. Okay, ribbon cable's in. And commence reassembly. And there we have it. Let's get the screws back in there and let's get it downstairs, connected to the PS4 and have a little bit of fun playing some games, testing it. And that was the problem I was facing last time is it would not draw back properly on this joystick. But now we have the ability to be able to draw back, swing. That's absolutely spot on. That's exactly where I wanted it. Perfect. Happy, happy days. We've got two working joysticks one with a new battery and one with some new joy pads fitted so i've set up a structure in the back garden it's connected to the shed it's a gazebo a tarp and in here <laughs> is a load of people we've got a lovely little fireplace going matty is looking after the fire for us and then get in here We've got room for me that's uncle ted we got jack bill whose music occasionally features on the show we got marky and we got lee and we've got plenty and plenty of stuff to keep us going this evening in the shed we've even got a little games machine up and quite a few bottles of really interesting stuff yeah anyway how lovely say hello everyone hello everyone hello everyone <laughs> oh, hang on i've got to do my thing haven't i thanks ever so much for watching if you haven't subscribed <laughs> press the button to subscribe if you if you haven't given us a thumbs up make sure you give us a thumbs up we'll catch you again in another video take care cheers and beers people bye for now we're off to have a fun night and there we have it folks with some reasonably basic tools we've now got two good working ps4 handsets thanks to lee thanks to mark for the handsets and thanks to you guys for watching a big big thumbs up don't forget subscribe if you haven't already and we'll catch you in the next video cheers and beers people take care have a wonderful weekend bye for now